Hi friends, thank you for continuing in this study. We're talking about God's favor and how God can be gracious towards us. Uh, today, once again, we are uh, going to talk about the fact that you and I must first seek the favor of God upon our lives. Uh, here's a scripture that's, that is such an encouragement. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? How wonderful. If God sides us, we can face uh, any opposition. If God be for us, who can be against us? And in this passage, you go on to read, you know, uh, neither the things that are created, neither demons, nothing. Oh, absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God and God's love and his favor for us is so incredible. We must be grounded and anchored in the fact that God's favor is everything in our lives. As we look at people in God's word, there were many people who were favored by God. I'm reminded of Joseph, Joseph uh, who went from pit to prison, to prime minister. But what was the uh, unique thing in his life? We keep reading the fact that God was with him. Oh, he was a righteous man and God's favor followed him. God's favor followed him and brought him influence so that you know, he could accomplish what God had purposed for him in his life. And in the same way, for us to make our journey uh, to fulfill the purpose of God, we need to receive God's favor. As we read about Jesus, we, we read that he too grew in favor with God and he grew in favor with men. So God can give us favor with himself and he can give us favor with the people around us. God did this for Jesus and you and I can also ask for it and walk right before God and receive this blessing. You know, I'm reminded of the life of Mary as well, you know, how God chose her for a unique assignment. A simple person who did not have um, experience with childbirth, but God picked Mary, a simple girl. And we read, you know, God, when the angel came and spoke to Mary, the angel said, highly favored, you are highly favored because God chose her for a, a, a special, special task. And today, dear friends, you know, uh, I just want to awaken our hearts to the fact that it's God's favor which will bless our lives. It's God's favor which will position us to fulfill his call in our lives. Uh, let us seek after the favor of God. Uh, nothing is greater than that, than to have the favor of God. And I'm sure as we walk right and seek God's favor, God will give us the wisdom to receive the favor of the people around us as well. So may the Lord favor you. God be for us. Who can be against us? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can have your unusual favor, O God, and that, Lord, your favor, Lord, will lead us, Father God, uh, and strengthen us and enable and empower us, Father God, to do what you have called us to do. Lord, today I pray that, uh, Lord, doors of opportunity and favor will be opened up, Father, for your people. Thank you. Thank you for causing this to happen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.